Hello, travelers. I'm Chris. Welcome to Lore Spire. We're here with a Thursday night edition of uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, Last Islanti Mode, Core Difficulty. And we'll be continuing our uh, Alchemist Grenadier playthrough. All right. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. I've been looking forward to this. This one's uh, been a lot of fun so far. Never played a Grenadier before, and uh, yeah, it's been fun to really figure out what they can do. I've not been disappointed up till now. All right, uh, let's just do some healing while we're waiting here. Actually, not with potions, though, with... Definitely cheaper to use scrolls. All right, so we just finished this battle here and we do still need to go down into the basement area of the tower and uh, loot everything that's down there. Hey, Oakheart, good to see you again. Glad you could make it. And Yomogami, always good to see you too. Did you get my message that I sent you? Um, I guess where I responded to you underneath your reply to a video. Well, anyways, whether you did or not, um, just so you know that uh, Eldritch Archer build is going to be coming out tomorrow morning. It's already scheduled. Um, yeah, and sorry it took so long, but it ended up going from what should have been just like a quick five or ten minute video to kind of like a full build video. Um, once I realized how much damage I could do with it and everything. Um, but anyways, yeah, that should be out for you tomorrow morning, Yomogami. And well, for everybody. Alright, get your hands off the relics, I will kill you. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I mean, eh, I should kind of let him die. Yeah, we're going to watch him choke to death. Mm. All right, well, yeah, I do, but it will be out tomorrow. It's it's scheduled. Um, actually, some of the Patreon members have already checked out the video and I haven't had a chance to ask them what they think of it yet, but um, they were leaving likes on it, so I think they liked it. And then we should actually have another video coming out on Saturday. Um, it's actually that long video that I've been working on for forever. It's finally finished. And so that'll be out Saturday morning. And just kind of showcases a full entire party and their battles across uh, all six acts of the game. Not every battle, of course, but just some key battles in every act. All right. Let's take Camellia in here. Now, what is that? I hope you appreciate this. Oh, hey, Poop Smash. I didn't actually see you there. Good to have you with us.
Yeah, we actually started a Pathfinder Kingmaker playthrough too yesterday because we didn't have anything else to do and um some people have been wanting the uh Kingmaker playthrough. So I think we're going to be playing that every Wednesday night from now on. So if anybody can make it to that, that would be cool. And I'm also playing it at some random times. I think I might play it this Saturday also. Um so yeah, Got a Kingmaker playthrough going on now, too. At your discretion. Let's finish looting this place, and we'll get out of here. Yeah, film bots are coming in pretty heavy already. We got two and what, we're 10 minutes in maybe? Six minutes, six minutes in. by Mr. Teldon. Oh, we got a wand of magic missiles. That's... Okay, I thought we had used magic device here. So yeah, let's go ahead and throw that on you so that uh, we can make sure to pass that whenever we need to. Read our books real quick. And nobody really needs that. Actually, we will put that on Sela in case she needs the off tank. And yeah, that looks good. Oh, damn, we don't really have... Yeah, there we go. You can have the entrapping longbow. I don't think we have anybody that can even use the kukri. I guess she could, but I want to keep her with that fire mace. Actually, does that increase your AC? No, it doesn't. Yeah, let's put that on. All right, 25 AC. I like it. Hopefully we don't have to tank, but if we do, 25 AC isn't terrible for level 23. Hey, Eric Wood. Glad you could join us yet again. As you can see, it is not Kingmaker this time. We'll probably be playing that again on Saturday. And what have we here? You got an illusions. Fine, I'll be gone.
All right, how about we come over here? We'll pick up our supplies. And then we're going to head to Silken Thread. We should be good to do this now. Love grins from the TTRPG. I do not know what that means, Eric. I want to know what that means, but I do not. Love grins from the TTRPG. Right, let's get you all over here. Yeah, I told you to. Where's Camellia? Oh yeah, over here. Duh. All right, come on, just a little bit closer. All right, I guess there's only one here. I thought there was two here. Oh, well. Oh, well, what were they just like standing on top of each other? I guess so. All right, fighters. Just what we needed. Why aren't you up here yet, Sila? Uh, did I mess up again? There we go. Now let's go get that wizard. Juku de Grasse here. Where are you at? Okay, you're already moving on. Good. No, attack up there. Oh, crap. I'm about to miss that barbarian completely, aren't I? guy was about to wake up in like one shot ember or something should throw that down there all right ah okay okay yeah that makes sense Um, well, like I said earlier, uh, never actually played a Grenadier before, either in the pen and paper or the, the, uh, video games here. So, so far, it definitely seems like a strong, fun class. It's definitely saved the day at least twice when I thought we were going to wipe. All right, well, we're going to bust out some bombs here. Only you deserve no more. reason to pause. And together, you just tease them. 
Yeah, I guess that's good. You throw up a bless. And let's get in here. Make a fine trophy. They'll beg me to stop. Nice. That's the guy we really need to get, though. He's a kind of a pain. Nice, nice. Good start. A little bit less of a good start now. Alright, not perfect, but you know, not bad. Not bad. Definitely love that nearly can't miss, you know, automatic damage. Pretty awesome. Let me check, but I think the diadem or uh Hmm, that's not too bad. It's not as good as this though. Yeah, that or a kineticist. All right, let's get out of here. I feel like there was something hidden over here, but I guess not. All right, well, I think it's time to go hit up Aaron Day's party now. That should be fun on a bun. Oh, crap. Turn those bombs off. We might possibly need those later. Although we're going to be resting soon anyways, which is the main reason I turned them on to begin with. Okay, that's what? One, two, three fembots now? Nice. Gotta love it. Go to the hanged cultist instead. And the lost bag. And the wine cellar will knock out these quick, easy places before we actually rest. Win. <laughs> 
This war is easy. Go. Not for you, for her. Ah, oh, come on. I'm not already embarrassing myself that bad now, am I, Yomogami? Don't need to go there, but yeah. Wine cellar it is. Need some undead wine. All right, now they can hit a little bit hard. But as long as we have everybody staying back, we should be good. Damn it. That was annoying. That was really annoying. Yeah, I wish I had some fembotocide or something. But I know not how to get rid of them. Rely on me. Oh, put that on her. That'll actually be super helpful. Should have done that first. Before I wasted those spells. Just put that right there. Everybody else can chill where you're at. Sure, we do have that. Yeah, we got that one. Nice, she hasn't taken any uh, ability damage at all. That's awesome. Sweet. Oh, come on. Damn, all of you are that freaking blind? None of you can see that? That's pretty damn annoying. Uh, what can I do about that?
All right, who has the highest perception check? Definitely not her. 10, 6, 9, 3, 12. All right. Let's see if we can see this thing then. All right, well, I guess we're just not getting that. That kind of sucks. Perception and lore nature. I prefer both of those. Anybody uh, know the secret to making your perception checks work? Or have a secret for it? If so, I'm all ears. All right, let's go. Hey, uh, Eric, I mean, I would like to think that, um, something similar to what happened in the books will happen, you know, maybe there'll be some Trollocs, they'll, well, maybe they'll meet the Black Wind, you know, uh, something like that. I'm not sure what to make of Matt not entering the, uh, the ways with them. One of my favorite parts of the entire Will of Time story, you know, like all 14 books, is um, whenever Matt first recovers from the uh, the dagger from uh, Sh Shadar Lagoth. And uh, while he's recovering, um, he actually fights... Damn, I'm not going to be able to remember their names, are they? It's Elaine's brother and stepbrother i think or brother and half brother i can't remember their names um but we haven't even met elaine yet in the show and i just kind of feel like that's not going to happen but i really like that part from the book so i'm hoping that that'll happen but i don't know i guess mostly i expect them to find some trollocs and probably the black wind in side of the ways and then Matt probably won't fight uh, either of those two characters that I can't remember their names. Been, I need to go read those books again. Um, but maybe, just maybe, he'll get those... Um, he'll find his luck. Start hearing those dice rattling around inside of his head. Maybe we can hope for that. Uh, yes, Galad and Ga Gawain. Thank you. Hey. I don't know. I feel like Elaine and Galad and Gawain are just either not going to be in the story at all or they're just going to come a lot later and Maybe, possibly, not stick very closely to the way their characters were written. We'll see. Don't I have Owl's Wisdom? No, I don't think I do. Why? Do I need Owl's Wisdom? Oh, for the perception check, right. Yeah. No, I don't have Owl's Wisdom yet. We're only level four. Uh, well, maybe they're saving that for 
for next season then. Maybe that'll that's how next season will start off. Um, Matt's definitely one of the best characters from the book. Um, and uh, yeah, I think most people would agree with that. Like he's got to be top two or three for sure. A lot of the people I know actually have them, him as their favorite character. And that's mostly because of what starts happening with his luck and everything, I think. Maybe they'll maybe they'll get into all that kind of stuff in season two with him. But I, I was kind of getting the feeling that this season is close to ending anyways. So I, I think maybe we got two more episodes. We'll do one with them in the ways and maybe one where they narrowly escape the ways. And whenever they get out, there's some type of big surprise reveal or something like that. Cliffhanger type thing. Um And then, yeah, that'll be like the end of the season. It's probably what we're looking at then. If there's not going to be any mat. All right, we should have some rats right up here, but as we've recently learned, swarms are not nearly as dangerous in this game as they were in Kingmaker, so yeah, I'm not too worried about these. Although I did forget to rest, so that could make this more difficult because I was intending to rest before we started this. So let's see if I eat those words. Okay, y'all can come off hold now. That's for sure. Wow, she can't even hit that rat swarm one time. Yeah, she's about to die to that damn thing. All right, there we go. Swarm's defeated. And one out of two ain't bad. All right, let's get our rest on before we get too crazy here.
Oh, he's been recast. I mean, I guess that's fine. I, mean, I don't think that this actor did a particularly bad job, but he didn't really do a great job either. They didn't really give him a whole lot to work with, though. Like, I feel like the writing with Matt has been at least as much of the problem as the actor might have been. What do you mean? You mean Matt's replacement actor? Because, I mean, Matt's already been healed. It was going to look different from that. Like, you would have already looked different from it. Or maybe I'm just not understanding what exactly you mean. Come on, plague horsies. All right, how about we take these fire sticks off? That would probably help. Or at the very least, not hurt. At least they can't hit Winduog. That's always nice. I don't want to use too many buffs here. What's on your mind? You... We don't want to have to rest again before later. I feel like that should be good. Yeah, that should be good. Hey, Sam, glad you could join us. Always good to see you. I hope you caught my messages earlier in the Discord. I was streaming whenever you asked your question, and so I didn't answer it till like an hour later, but... All right, good. Now everybody else, put that damn Cambion. I really need that from you. You're fine. You're fine. Where are y'all going? You can shoot 50 feet. What the hell's wrong with you?
All right, good. He's down. Oh, wow. They wasted their cloud over there on the nobles. That's awesome. Thank you for that. That's about the easiest that this battle's ever gone. Think that's all of them? Yeah. No reason to pause. Miss Aranka. Yep. Greetings. All right. I don't much like you, but we're going to use you. I'm sorry if I failed to say your... Of course, of course, where are my manners? I... What's this? As regards myself, capital. Now this part's a little hard to choose, but yeah, I think we're taking him in place of her. He's just a better healer. We don't really have a real healer right now. Okay. Yeah, you might be right about that, Eric. Like I said, it's, it's been a while since I read the books and I kind of remember that. And she finds them and heals them a little bit, but then, but they're not actually in Tarvalon when that happens, right? They still have to make their way to the White Tower, and then they make their way there, and he gets healed, and yeah. And he fights Galad and Gawain, and I think that night, or maybe a couple of nights later, soon after that, is when he goes to gamble to make enough gold to get away from the Aes Sedai because he hates them or is scared of them or whatever, and that's whenever the dice start rattling around in his head. That's what I was thinking would maybe be coming up, but yeah, with only two episodes left... Um, that or hopefully at least something kind of close to that will be happening in season two. All right. Sorry, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Um, we'll take the cure of moderate wounds. For me. Hmm. I like having Sila with a pole arm. Might have to work out some kind of actual build for her that I turn into a video with this. Of course, we're pretty early in the game. May not stay relevant all throughout. Oh crap, I almost forgot to jump the barrier over there, didn't I? Definitely take that. Yeah, 
Yeah, apparently whenever the wheel turns, it uh, spits out a different version each time. Not really quite the same. Yeah, I've never had her slow before. I've tried her mounted, but I just... I don't know, as a paladin, she just doesn't get enough beats for that. Maybe I'll try mounting her this time, because I was planning on getting a horse anyways. Maybe I'll try mounting her, but... I'll take some levels in Fighter or Slayer or something uh, that gets bonus feats. So that way that's not such a hindrance. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right about that, Eric. Sorry, I was busy talking about, um... Talking about and thinking about, uh... Wheel of Time, and... Yeah, I didn't really realize that I just wasted a spell slot there. But that'll be okay. We'll make it anyways. Um, I don't know, maybe Cavalier or Sohei Monk. I'll have to look and see uh, what gives her the most bonus feats because that's kind of what I'd be going for there. Mostly for bonus feats. I don't know, I guess I could take her levels like out of Paladin really early, like now or soon. And go with something like Sohei Monk. That might work pretty well. But Mark of Justice is really OP. So I really kind of want to take her to at least level 11 to get Mark of Justice. I'm pretty sure we can't respec in uh, core difficulty. But it's only one spell slot. There's not anything terribly important at level for level two spells, anyways. That uh, that we're going to be missing would we'll just be slightly handicapped for a little bit of time. Damn. Guy like flew across the frickin' room it really quickly. A paladin monk seems like it could be an overpowered combination, I guess. I haven't really tried it. Um But it does seem like with them both relying on charisma and upping your saves and your AC, maybe like an armorless paladin monk combo where you Work in Archmage armor would uh, probably be pretty strong. Hell, that might even make a better tank than our tank Winduog, despite the fact that it would still be doing good damage. Damn, now you got me thinking about it, because our last... Well, not our last, but our two playthroughs ago, we were actually playing a Sohei Monk. And I actually liked that a lot. That was the playthrough where we made it the farthest, and that was a really strong build. So, I'm kind of leaning towards the Say Sohei Monk for Sela now. We may be starting that soon. Maybe, maybe like level six though. Because otherwise the animal companion will only be level one. But if we wait till level five and pick up the animal companion with Sela, then it should be our level.
somebody not miss this guy, please? Ah, oh, crap. We need to go kill this summoner. Summoners piss me off. Oh. Joy, it's not a summoner. It's an invisible summoner. What the where the hell are you going? God damn it, that's annoying. There we go. Okay, that should have hit that summoner wherever it is, but I guess hitting it still doesn't bring it out. Lame. All right, get up here. We need some more perception checks, people. We still can't see it. <laughs> That's annoying. Finally, oh my god. That was really starting to annoy the hell out of me. Thought it was supposed to be up here. And apparently I thought wrong. Yeah, I still haven't really played a Zen Monk Archer, at least not past level 7 with land. Um, but that's what I've heard. They're pretty absurd. But yeah, I think I think I like the idea of the Sohei Paladin combo. Excuse me. And I think we're just going to do the Five levels in Paladin. Although I do need to look and see. Do Sohei monks get bonus feats? I do not actually remember that. I know they get weapon training. All right, come on, let's lie in. He needs to shoot too. Thank you. This one was beyond me. Bah, not this time. And we really haven't found very many uh, lock picks this playthrough, have we? Usually never run out of those things. That's unfortunate. Maybe we'll find some more upstairs. We check this, right? Yeah. Oh. Hit this one more room real quick. I found something. I am helpful, am I not?
All right, hey, for anybody that hasn't done so already, if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons, you know, I'd really, really appreciate that. You know, it helps out the channel a lot. So thanks for doing that. I do like the idea of hiring mercenaries and I was considering it for this playthrough and I still might because I really want a, a divine herbalist healer and I really want a brown fur transmuter uh, buffer. And I'd actually forgotten that I even wanted those things until you just mentioned mercenaries. So thanks for that, Nick, for reminding me. Um, I mean, a themed all monk party, that could be pretty good. You could have maybe like two Zen archers and like, I don't know what the other ones would be. I don't think there's a monk healing archetype, so you'd probably at least want one cleric or oracle or yeah, somebody that can heal. But then I don't know, monks are pretty damn overpowered, so... Maybe if you just got everybody's saves and AC up high enough, you wouldn't even need a healer. I'll prove I'm the best. Open your heart to me. Oh, that is unfortunate. We only have one sleep now. That's a little bit saddening. Hmm. I think that's all we need. I did not mean to get close enough for that to happen, but oh well, I did. Figures he'd save from that. Oh, screw you and your fear. God, I hate fear. Alright, she's feared. That was pretty weak. All right, good job, everybody. I welcome your company.
<laughs> the monkeys. Sorry, I was concentrating on that battle. I'm a little behind in the chat now. That was pretty funny, though. How are you liking the brown for uh, Poop Smash? Because I've not played one, but I've heard they're really good at buffing, and that's why I kind of want to get one as a mercenary. Um, actually, whenever we head back to the inn, don't let me forget to check, and if we have enough gold, we're going to hire at least one, either Divine Herbalist or a brown fur transmuter, one or the other. Probably the brown fur, but we'll see. All right, Camellia. Let's get ready. Well, I was really expecting that to provoke one of those. Well, that was unfortunate. Rules are made to be broken. Anything new? Well, maybe I'm not as smart as I thought I was. We have a scroll of summon monster, maybe. Yeah, we do. Right there. Try this again. Oh, everybody hold. Except for Ninio, you get your butt back. Damn it, Ninio. Get out of there. You're gonna die. The beg me to stop. All right, thank you. Actually, just regular attack. All right, marching terror for the win. Oh, yeah. I feel like having a full party of anything mounted can be pretty overpowered. You just kind of charge everything. And that one of the strategies that some guy had for playing on unfair. You just charge everything and deal your double damage and kill them in one hit.
All right, come on. Somebody's going to hit him again in a minute, maybe. That took way too long, but we did it with no deaths. The game didn't even end. That was really annoying when that happened. I am helpful, am I not? Of course you're helpful. Hey, was that a... Magic short bow. I don't think anybody else can use that except for Ember, who's not. Ah, oh, I should have taken Ember's weapon off. I forgot I gave her that good bow. Oh, well. That'll work for now. The four monks of the apocalypse. Are those death, plague, war, and famine? Is that right? I think that's right. Or whenever as a little kid, um, we had these miniatures, Reaper miniatures, and that's basically like the first kind of tabletop game that I ever played, really. And um, we just had like the basic starter pack because we're kids and we're poor and whatever. And uh, anyways, come on, nobody can see this to open it. God, our perception checks suck. All right, let's go to the picture. Anyways, the story I was telling. Um, no reason to pause. They had the four horsemen of the apocalypse that you could like buy as generals of the uh, undead armies. And of course I played undead because that's what I always played in any game. And I always wanted to get them. They looked so badass, but they were like, I don't even remember how much, but they were they were expensive, and uh, nobody would ever buy them for me. I am yours to command. I'll bathe in your blood. I say nobody's gonna attack. Oh, damn. That's too much damage, guys. Better throw another bomb at this one. Hmm. That's good, Ninio. I need that one to go down. Why did I have power attack off? Sweet. Up 
Oh, damn, she went down. You're all right, then why do you sound like you're dead? Still up, I think, hopefully. All right, bombs for the win again. That was way more difficult than it should have been. All right, now what the hell am I missing in here? I thought there was just a perception check and then you open the damn thing. Obviously, I'm forgetting something. I was gonna say maybe I forgot to pick up the quest, but I couldn't come here without the quest. Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I didn't talk to him before I started. Oh, no, I didn't clear out this room. That's what it is, isn't it? Okay. I got it now. I was hoping to not have to rest again before we headed back to Market Square, but looks like we're going to have to anyways. There we go. Come on. Where are you at, Gorm? There we go.
All right, there we go. Maybe in what she's wearing, possibly. Where you at, Camellia? Kind of better. Nah, we're going to keep what we have. I think that undead area is probably the most difficult area we have left anyways, so let's keep the extra AC for that for now. All right, well, we're D-U-N done here. We're like a sneeze away from level five. Let's wait till we get level five before we actually rest. I don't know. How do y'all feel about... Um, Topaz Solutions, because I'm pretty sure that you all know how I feel about it. But I haven't been in a while, and I'm an alchemist, so I'm feeling a little bit cocky. I'm kind of considering clearing it. What do y'all think? No, they, they allow the, the same dex bonus. So I would still get one more AC from that, but actually we're not at that point yet, so I should probably go ahead and, and do it anyways. Maybe I'll switch back to the other one once we get to the Market Square area. Actually, I'm... I'm not even sure we can clear the outside here without any healing spells. Well, we do still have some buffs, so we should be able to. Yeah, we should be able to, I think. Actually, this is a deflection bonus too, isn't it? Yeah. It's not really going to stack. Yeah, so we don't actually need that. Oh, I forgot we still had blur. Okay. We should definitely be able to do this with blur i think we are gonna want to heal though uh, no more healing scrolls that's unfortunate
Okay, so the bur milk's the most dangerous thing here by far. So if we can just get that thing taken out, we should be good. And I'm thinking in order to do that, we're going to send Sela around so she can get a clear shot at it. Oh, you go this way. Oh, can I not? Can I get through that way? Okay, I can. I was about to be disappointed. There's that damn thing. Go get it, Sela. All right, it's already down. Good freaking job, Sela. Although I would prefer it if... Oh, he's... Nice. Marching Terror for the win. All right, come on now. Let's just drop that thing. Oh, did I miss the healing scrolls? Kind of blind, especially with my glasses off. Yeah, the, the scrolls are cheaper, so I definitely prefer to use those. Oh, yeah, it's definitely right there. Oh, gotta wait for this to... I'm about to finish anyways. And there we go. We got our fifth level. All right. Now I got to figure out what to choose as a grenadier here. I think I'm going to take infusion because I should have taken infusion instead of cognitage cognitogen at level three. Um, so I guess I'm probably going to go ahead and take infusion now. I guess there's not really much point in taking knowledge world since we're going to be using Ninio of course it takes stealth mm. I think I'll stick with mobility instead stealth isn't really terribly helpful All right, and now I want to take ability focus bombs. Yeah, I think I definitely want that. Mm. 
And here for a spell, we're probably going to take Bark Skin. Yeah, I feel like Bark Skin's the way to go here. All right, now we're level five. We can get our pet. It's definitely awesome. We've not chosen. Hmm. You know what? Aren't. Isn't the Bardish a reach weapon? Because I think we just got one of those that was pretty good, didn't we? Yeah, Decimation. I didn't actually look to see if it was a reach weapon. Yeah, it is a reach weapon. Never really used Bardishes before either. Oh, wait. All right, so I'm going to go with that, but I need to check to make sure that Sohei monks can actually use that. I think they can. Let's see, monk, Sohei. Uh, well, I'll definitely be sure to take extra bombs next level. I just figured the plus for AC was, uh, or DC, was better, uh, because everybody seems to be resisting the bombs, even like the regular little cultists, almost every time. But, um, yeah, I'll definitely take the extra bombs next time, especially if you get times three. That's a hell of a lot. I figured it would be, like, you know, like plus one or plus two, like you get with um, channeling or something like that. All right, so so hey, oh, I don't actually want to choose it. Just want to look at the actual card. Uh, is it gonna? T oh. So we actually lose all of our bonus feats, which kind of sucks. I don't like that very much. But I thought, okay, here's the weapon training. I do like getting weapon training. Do not like losing the bonus feats, though. Do we get any bonus feats at all, maybe? No, but we do get mount feats. Is it first level, second level, and every four levels? That's the way it normally is. But for us... Okay, right here. Alright, so that was the thing that I was concerned about. So that would give us two free Beats. So yeah, we're definitely going Sohei Monk with Sila uh, at level 6. I want to finish out the Paladin levels now, though. So that way our... Actually, I might just go Sohei now. Hmm. No. We're going we're gonna to stick with Paladin so we can get outflank now. I like having outflank at level 5.
Yeah, that was Poop Smash that put the Alchemist build in there. Um, and yeah, it's definitely helpful. Except for the Cognitogen. I don't, I don't get that at all. I don't understand why you would take the Cognitogen over a regular Mutagen whenever it benefits you more to have... I don't know. I don't get it. But then I've only just begun playing an Alchemist, so maybe it'll make sense to me later. Get them with the horse pictogram. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Hey, Icarus, good to see you. Hadn't seen you in a little while. Got the camera on so you can enjoy the view. Take precise shot. Damn, I actually don't remember what the plan was for this. I think the plan was Dragon Disciple. It's been too long now. But I think the plan was Dragon Disciple for the extra natural armor. I think. Let's see what we're missing for Dragon Disciple first before I do that. Knowledge Arcana 5. Yep. No, we're not going Dragon Disciple. Are we? Yeah, I think we are. Okay. Sorry, I'm indecisive sometimes. It's also hard to remember what exactly I was planning whenever there's like a week or, you know... Five or six days between playthroughs sometimes. Alright, I really don't care about your damage at all. Like, not even a little bit. Well, maybe a little bit, but definitely a low priority. Outflank, and fortunately she doesn't have enough for that, so we'll take shield focus here. Alright, that gets us up to 33 AC, not too terrible. I figured that's why you were back, yeah. If I want to bring in the Ikari, all I have to do is turn on the camera. Ikari, Icaruses, something like that. Um, actually, Yomogami, you don't need the Dragon Bloodline to take the Dragon Disciple. That's, I know it's kind of confusing, but yeah, a lot of people get confused about that. If you're a sorcerer or if you have a Bloodline, it has to be a Dragon Bloodline. But if you don't have a Bloodline, then you're, you're good. All right, Greater Spell Focus... Illusion. And I want greater magic weapon here. It's always hard to choose between haste and displacement. Haste is actually better, but for the Grey Garrison, we're going to be hasted most of the time anyways. So it's kind of like, eh, maybe I don't need that so much. We're going to go with haste. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, Nick Thompson. That's actually what I have with Windowog right now. I've got the... Uh, what is it? Stigmatized Witch with the... Uh, and, yeah, the Ice Plant. And I have the Icy Protector ring on her and a Lizard. Which is why she has such high AC. Okay, you do not need those. Give you a perception check and use magic device is always helpful. And I also don't really care about your damage. But I want to have some extra channels here. So yeah, we're going to take that. Remove fear is good to have, especially this early. Did we take it? I think I'll get it confused between this and the Kingmaker playthrough I was doing earlier before. I think we took Remove Fear and Kingmaker. I think. No, I think... Um, eh, whatever, we'll stick with it. Alright, we're going to stick with that, and... None of that stuff really matters too much. And we're going to go with Bull's Strength for now. It's always nice to have those buffs. Yeah, how have you been liking Final Fantasy XIV, Icarus? Um, from what uh, I've heard so far, it's definitely really good. There's several people in the community that are playing it. And I do love me some Final Fantasy, but... I just, Final, I, I'm too old. Final Fantasy is not an MMO for me. All right, toughness. Oh, hello, Fembot. Nice of you to drop by. Two and three. Yeah, I don't think you could possibly ban all of them. They are Legion. Oh, really? They stopped selling it? Why, server over overload or something, or what? Alright, we're going to take dodge. And I want intelligence for sure. I don't think my mount's mobility matters, so that, that should be fine. Pretty sure it does not. It's just the rider's mobility that matters. Alright, and here we want a will save because your will save sucks.
All right, let's get in here before this succubus, um, before our buffs wear off, so that we can take out this succubus. This succubus is definitely annoying. Oh, while I'm thinking of it, uh, anybody that hasn't done so already, if you could like this the stream and subscribe to the channel, you know, I really appreciate it. You know, appreciate your support. Thank you for doing that. You know, for sure. And don't forget, tomorrow we're going to be having our Friday night viewer submitted builds live stream. Or we're going to take a build or maybe even two that have been submitted by viewers and test them on stream. So hopefully y'all can show up for that. And then we'll be streaming all day Saturday. And I think this Saturday we're actually going to go with... Excuse me. Our um, recently started Pathfinder Kingmaker uh, playthrough. I know some people in the community have been wanting to uh, to see Kingmaker. And yeah, we started it and I'm having fun there. And I think we're going to go ahead and run with that one on Sun or Saturday, pretty much all day. You dumbass horse. And you dumbass me. I don't just get back over here. Nobody freaking move. How come they never get affected by the stinking cloud? What the hell is up with that? I think she's out of it here. No, just stay there. Damn it. All right, I really didn't want to turn on Turn base mode, but now that it's now that it's on, that's fine. We'll go with it for now. That figures. That's fine. Inigo, just kill this guy already. Actually, I should probably be saving that for the, now. The succubus is going to resist it. Oh, why didn't I attack there? They'll beg me to stop. Oh, look, they're finally affected by it. Dude, you are supposed to be holding. And you're supposed to be holding. What the hell was that? Succubus energy drain? Has anybody seen that before? I definitely don't remember that. Cloud's gone, let's get him. Oh, 
Actually, that's a good idea. You can use Zap, which does not miss. So yeah, let's do that. Even if it is only one. Never mind, she's going to resist it, isn't she? I'll bet. No, she didn't resist it. Nice. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. Oh, now you move closer. Little ass. That zap's going to finish her off. Like, four or five turns, she'll be dead. All right, good job. I'll enjoy your two weeks off, Icarus. Seems like everybody's getting two weeks off here, uh, here lately. My horse is my trapper. I'm not sure what exactly that means, but my horse is almost my freaking dead horse there for a minute. Oh, really? All right, well, I'm getting too old, getting amnesia or dementia or something, obviously. I do not remember that succubus energy drain at all. But hey, we're level five. We got a horse now. Level six, I might even have Sela start riding it. Yeah, Divine Zap is pretty nice. I just forgot that he had it or forgot that I should be using it, rather. All right, so what did we decide on Topaz Solutions? On the one hand, I don't want to get wiped by that damn alchemist and the mimics and be forced to restart from the beginning. On the other hand, I almost feel like maybe we can do it without wiping. No, I probably haven't been lucky. I probably just don't remember. Hey, hey, random. So glad you could join us. Yeah, well, that's definitely a good thing. It was only out for, what, 10 hours or so? Something like that. Actually, I'm not sure where exactly you live, but... That should be fairly close. Uh, we're definitely resting before we go into the... Uh, fire resist for the bomb down. Mm, no, but after I rest, I will have it. Thanks, Nick. You may have just uh, saved our playthrough by reminding me to put on the fire resist. Or is it? Um, there it is. All right. Definitely want that. I want that. 
And... Actually, we need two of these. One for the horse. That looks fine. Ah, oh, crap. I should have got that displacement. I didn't even think about the favorite school slot. That sucks. That's why I usually get displacement. Yep, should have done that. Oh, well. Such is life. That's good. I didn't realize that the military gave two weeks off. Uh... I think Jonathan gets some time off to come home. I think it's only a week, though, that he's he's going to get to come back. Ooh, we're just barely avoiding that corruption, huh? All right, let's change our scroll. We definitely don't need any more of those. Take a scroll of haste. All right, let's enter here and we'll buff up. This will be the first time since beta that I've cleared this if we clear it. So hopefully we do. All right, so. I think the mimics are evil. I actually don't know, though, so I could be wrong about that. And we're not going to bother with that. Actually, save that second one. Hopefully, you won't uh, be in any danger here. I should have put this on my bombs. But I don't think it works that way. I hear the voice of experience. However, we can do this. Place that with that. And we'll give you... Oh, nice. He can use bows? 
did not realize that. We definitely have to get that bow back from Ember. Yeah, we definitely got to get that bow back from Ember. What's my strength at? It's pretty low. Holy crap, it's really low. Oh yeah, use re reduced person. All right, well, I better not put on a composite longbow then. Um, or a longbow. So, yeah, heavy crossbow. You've got that. Put this on you. Just in case you have to tank if things go horribly awry. Me already. I believe we've already used all those spells. And we don't really have anybody that needs strength this time, do we? Well, we got our pet and our tank. They can use strength, I guess. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's go. hell are you doing just attack oh nice damn that guy's got a lot of hit points I hit him for 26 and it's not even a quarter of his life what the hell That alchemist down? Thank you. Oh my Bob, he's down. All right, I think we did it. All right, good job everybody. Although we're not done yet, but that should have been by far the harder fight. So I feel pretty good about it. All right, we're still in combat.
All right, well done, everybody. Thanks again, Nick. What did we get her up to anyway? Nice, nice. 38. That's actually... 41 when she's fighting defensively. That should definitely be good enough for the entire Grey Garrison. Would be nice if she had combat expertise too, but... We can do without it. That is a nice crossbow. Definitely going to give that to you. You don't need that, though. Give that to somebody who does need it. Cloak of Disguise. I guess I can go on you. You don't have to anyways. Give you some natural armor. Those are all counterfeit. Yeah. Counterfeit pieces of junk piss me off. That's kind of nice, actually. Although I could see me killing my own. Yeah, yeah. we're not going to use that. All right, so there we go. Everybody that's here got to take part in the first clearing of Topaz Solution since the game released. Well, the first clearing in Act 1. Why are we going there? All right, Market Square is the only thing left. Let's head back up here and sell. I guess. I guess uh, energy resist or protection from cold that might make it worth it. Yeah, I might actually go ahead and use it or maybe not for every fight. I'm going to keep a backup weapon too. Because there's some fights where I'm going to need resist fire over resist energy or resist cold. And we, I definitely want delay poison. So I don't want to uh, get rid of delay poison. No, don't need that. Marching Terror is pretty good. But I don't think it's actually better than the Decimator. Eh, we'll keep it. We'll, we'll throw it in our storage box.
Stone skin. Nice. That's, um, uh, wow. Pretty early for us to be having one of those. I mean, at this point, that's what, DR10? That's a really hella strong scroll to have at this point. Nice, we got 24,000 gold. That's by far like the most gold that we've ever had at this point. It's pretty awesome. That detainer crossbow is looking pretty, uh, pretty nice, especially since we have so many characters that are using a crossbow. Fortunately, it's only DC 16, so it's not really going to be relevant for that long. Probably not worth it. Oh yeah, yeah. We're we're definitely. I'm definitely getting abundant spell casting with Darren at Mythic Rank Six, and I'm actually gonna take Camellia out of the party. We'll probably replace her with Sociel. He won't have abundant spell casting though, but Darren should get access to level three spells at level six, anyways. So. I want to remove that from you, that from you. I think Darren's going to be our speech therapist. So we can put that on him. All right, we're going to throw that in the All right, Windowog. We're going to have you using the icebreaker here. And we'll just keep this over here for now. Uh, we already sold everything, right? Yeah, pretty much. We'll just sell that now. Get rid of it. And I want to pretty much buy out all of the potions because those are finitely stocked. What a swore I... Oh no, that was in the Pathfinder Kingmaker playthrough that I bought that. Okay, never mind. Take it. The light crossbow of force, which which one is that? I don't really care about that. I just want to get some of those for healing between battle. Maybe even during battle, who knows. Mm. 
think that should be good. I think I read all these books, right? Oh, that's pretty cool. It lets you read them while you're... Um, in your selling tab, so... That's pretty convenient, actually. I did not know that. Pretty sure I read them all anyways, but... Let's get rid of them now. I don't need Hosilla's orders. Thought I had some recipe. Oh, yeah. The ones with feathers, duh. Well, that's cool. I didn't realize that as an alchemist, I could... write um, spells into my spellbook also. Or is it like all non-spontaneous arcane casters can do this? Because that's definitely what it seems like. I don't know, the idea of a alchemist tank is like suddenly popping into my head and won't stop. I might have to look at that later. Just to see if there's any actual chance at viability at all. Drop you in there, you in there. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Sure, we don't have anything new for Storyteller. Alright, I didn't think so. Go ahead and trade those. And I think that's getting close to being about it there. Wait, did I rest? I did not rest. Good. Um, where are you at? Character, spellbook. Mm. Alright, 
feel like that's all we should need. Okay, I'll go check out um, what Staunton's brother has for sale here in a little while. And then we'll head back to the Market Square area. Gods are weak, Golden Boy. You said it's a light crossbow of force. Who told you that? Do they get a DC save? Because I really don't like the ones that give them a, a save. But if it's just straight, hey, every time you crit, you get this, then could be worth it. Could be worth it. Might want to have Sila get some scrolls of blessed weapon. Maybe I'll learn how to scribe scrolls with her. Those freaking scrolls of blessed weapon, man. Those things are powerful as hell. Okay, so... Light crossbow of force. It's reasonably priced, at least. Plus one. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Sure. We'll go ahead and take it. I've never used it before. Let's see how much I like it. And if I like it a lot, maybe we'll start using it more often. Start getting it earlier in our playthroughs or something. All right, let's get a move on. Yeah, I was up pretty early without uh, a lot of sleep, so. Oh, wow. We still haven't even talked to Wolgif there to turn in that quest. I'll have to remember to do that before we actually start the Grey Garrison Assault. No, don't feel like fighting you. Let's get the rest of Market Square cleared out. Get some revenge on this damn necromancer. You know, now that I'm actually thinking about it, open to ideas. that crossbow should go on Sly. Because he has point blank shot.
All right. Let's head on over to the church so we can become an Azada. Woohoo, Azada. The greatest mythic path in the game. Yay. Hey, Hensler, glad you could join us. Um, I'm not sure what time is it. It's only 8.09. Probably about another hour or so. Um, you know, probably going to stop between 9 and 9.30 most likely. So maybe an hour to an hour and a half longer. So, yeah, if you get to work and... It's not busy. You have a chance. We'd definitely love to have you, you know, tune in and hang out. Also, there's a link for our Discord channel down in the description of this video. You can click that, join our Discord, and you can hang out with us anytime on there. You know, we're on there talking Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous and other games, sometimes just life stuff, you know, pretty much every day. So just so everybody's aware of that. <laughs> oh no, I've offended Sam, damn it. I thought you were gone already, Sam. I should have known better. You probably were gone, but your ears started burning and so you had to log back in just long enough to hear that. I was being, um... Definitely being highly sarcastic when I was saying that. The Azada is... Definitely my least favorite. Just because of... I don't like being a hippie, damn it. That's it. Okay, that's why. Uh. But I do like having options. And it'll probably make you happy to know, Sam, that we are going for the Lich Mythic Path in this playthrough. I was leaning towards Trickster, but then I misclicked and we didn't gain the Trickster Mythic Path option. So that kind of made the decision for us. We're definitely going uh, Lich. Well, it's good that you've been here the whole time, but I do like the idea of you just getting this strange feeling and flying to your computer like somebody saying the lich isn't the best. What? What? No, I have to correct them. No All right, let's go ahead and use this. Uh protection from cold now I actually don't even remember when that activates hopefully it's commonly though I definitely won't don't want to get us wiped by it what the hell are you doing Sila you're trying to die I think you're trying to die like almost for sure you are Whenever it confirms a critical. So I actually need to be putting Bless Weapon on her. Yeah, we're going to do that.
Eh, we can wait till we get to a little tougher area. Wait till we get to that undead area before we put it on. There we go. I'll make short work of this. What a mess. Yeah, you're like, that's a good tree. That's a good boy. Or girl or it. I guess trees are probably gender neutral, so go. we'll go with it. The Azada does have its moments, but it's it's definitely a little too touchy feely for me. I think I may have already picked up the tiger. It should be right there, I believe. Hmm. I wonder if maybe it's on. Uh, Wolgif. Or is it right in front of my face and I'm just not seeing it? It should be like right here with a little hand or something. Alright, let's buff up because this battle kind of rocked us the last time we were here. Let's put Bless Weapon on her. You can trust me. It should work. Is it flawed? Oh no, Ada Yana. cause is certainly different from a simple massacre. The former is more bloody and performed with pinkies out. I'll watch your back. Oh, the waiting's never fun. You require my unbiased opinion? All right, now I feel like with all these buffs, this should be pretty easy, right? Hopefully. It's definitely how I feel. Skip the 
I almost forgot my buffs. You're the one who needs to die. Nice. All right, easy as pie. Easy as pie. There they are. Onward ho. Oh, who's this? Ooh, beer. I do like some beer. Or ale. Yeah, I was looking for the cat earlier. But I, I think I may have already picked it up and maybe it's on Wolgif who's kind of dead at the moment. Because it's not in my inventory and it definitely wasn't back there. Yeah, I'm going to go back for the bow in a little bit. I want to make it to the Necromancer before all those buffs I put on wear off. Oh, I love having a good tank. No Alright, magic weapon time. Let's get those shades, shadows. All right, nicely done. Actually, I think that bow in the basement is like the only plus two weapon you can get outside of a shop in Act 1. Or at least the only one that I can think of. Oh, back over here, Mr. Horsey.
Gotta love yourself a good bomb. Really? You're just stuck there? Come on, hurry up and get up here before those shades come. They're already here. Definitely loving being an alchemist, man. The freaking damage we can deal, especially to large groups, is just brutal. Love it. Come on, heal that strength damage. Of course. At least the first one was four. Actually, I killed Kalesa this time, and she, she didn't. Maybe I killed her too early? I guess that could be it. I don't actually remember what exactly she dropped, but if you go back, I think it's episode two, we killed her, and she didn't... I don't remember what exactly she dropped, but it definitely wasn't like a really awesome bow or we'd be using it. All right, death to the necromancers. Last time she whooped our... Ass, not this time. You are today's sacrifice. No match for me. Die, Necromancer. Good. Good. Almost. Ha! Ah, got you. Yeah, you're probably going down, but it was worth it. All right, we're victorious. Smile. The world's not ending just yet. <laughs> Where did that come from? Yomogami. I'm off my meds. <laughs> nice.
Yeah, they must have they must have patched it or changed it or something. But yeah, it's really early for a plus three. I mean, you can get that like pretty much the minute that you turn level three. Well, not the minute, but what three, four battles tops after level three, you could have it. All right, now we can go back and get that bow from the basement because there's nothing left that's difficult enough that we need blur and a full round of buffs. I didn't notice our ice battle axe thing proc even one time during that battle, though. Did y'all? I, I certainly didn't notice it. It's unfortunate. I put blessed weapon on her, hoping that we would see it a lot. Or at least once. Oh, crap. I got lost, didn't I? Yep. This way. Sounds like they're playing, like, old 1930s country music in there or something. Actually, I think it's, I think it's 19 to 20, Nick, but I'll, I'll check it to make sure. It could be only 20. That's definitely possible. But still, that's a 10%. Chance. Yeah. It was only one battle. Let's check it real quick. Yeah, it is only 20. So yeah, 5% chance. That is kind of low. What do we have here? Now, 3d6 is a lot of damage, though, so I guess it kind of makes sense that it would be a low chance. All right, time to shine. Only one swarm? I was going to say these bombs are actually not as effective as I thought they'd be against swarms, but I guess 20 is actually pretty good. And 27 there. Yeah, I'm. It's kind of low damage, though, for a crit build. I mean, you would have to. I don't even think you can take the improved crit feed until level 8 or something, I want to say. And by that time, 3d6 damage definitely is not as much. Let's see if we have any enemies over here. I'm not sure if they respawn after the siege or not. I think they do. Yep, they do. All right. Death to the Vermlech. I hate all Vermlechs. I actually need to turn this back on with y'all. You two, at least.
your company. Anybody know what that growling sound is we always hear around this area? I feel like it should be an enemy, but I've never found it. This should be the last area. And then the only thing after this is pretty much the Great Garrison. Oh, I forgot the basement. Yeah, the house with the bow. Thanks, Yomagami. Yeah, definitely got to go to the, the basement, the house with the bow. I was actually intending to do that before this, but we're already here now, so let's do it. Where's that wizard? There we go, wizard. I will see to your demise. Not good. One wizard down. Let's get the cleric. Damn. They really piled on the hits there. All right, not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, combat needs to end. Yeah, we're going to do the, I guess you mean the one with the Brimarack when you say firehouse. We're going to definitely do that. Although we're going to have to rest again because I'm not going in there without resist fire on. That's just asking for trouble. All right, now get back here. You over here. The inheritor, guide my blade. Y'all get the evoker. That guy's gonna do some damage. All right, never mind.
Oh, ah! I like her with that freaking decap or a bardiche man, the decimator. Every time she does that, I just imagine her like cleaving them clean in two. It's awesome. Maybe I should put cleave on her, though. Not a very big believer in cleave. It's. I haven't found it to be that effective. that any good? Probably not. I want to say there's something hidden up here that we can find. Maybe. Or maybe not. I guess not. Either that or I failed my perception check. One of the two. I don't know, to be honest, I haven't really paid too much attention to the axes. I don't usually try to use axes, but maybe we'll pay more attention to the axes in this playthrough. Maybe we'll specialize Wendy and axes. Oh, nice. That horse definitely exploded. I feel like our damage right now is just hella good. Like, definitely better than what it normally is. All of y'all need to be attacking this guy. The inheritor, guide my blade. Hey! I'll rip you apart in the holy light. And we're about to rest anyways. May as well. Uh-oh. Sila's about to go down. Damn, we're all getting our asses kicked here. Just when I was bragging on our damage, too. Get up here and throw some bombs. We're about to rest. There and get up here and heal. All right, victory. And victory is ours. Yeah, I've got a, a buddy that 
That's the build he likes for Windywog, is a throwing axe build. It does seem like it would be pretty effective, but I can't really tell whenever I watch him playing, though, because he mods the hell out of his game to make it... Um, yeah, a lot easier than what it should be, even though it's on a high difficulty. So it's kind of hard to really be sure just how effective it is, but... All right, let's rest. We'll finish this, then we'll go and get our bow from the basement with that. What is it? Demodand, I think, is the enemy that's down there. I do like how spick and span you keep all your things. Well, I... Yeah, I like mods for, like, ease of use and stuff like that, but he mods his to where his party auto-reses and auto-heals after every battle. Um, even though he's on, like, hard difficulty. Um, he does some other stuff to it, too. I forget what all. I don't think he mods the actual... Com oh, he puts on infinite spells, too. So I don't think he at mods the actual combat, but he's always fully buffed and fully healed at the start of every fight, and he can always use every spell in every fight since he has infinite spell slots. So it's kind of like... It's hard to use what he does as a gauge for what might actually be good. Oh, I should have buffed before we came in here. Oh, well, battle should not start right away. And we mostly just need that fire protection. Although, as long as we're buffing, let's buff for everything. Yeah, maybe not everything, but... I still haven't noticed that ability go off yet, either, have you? With the axe? Hmm... Oh, well. That should be good enough. Oh, great. When do I got trapped back here somehow? That's really good. Alright, that should be all the fire blasts we have to worry about. I don't want to auto-casting that. I'll 
make short work of this. I am helpful. Actually downloaded an auto buff mod that I need to set up. It doesn't like buff you for free, but it takes the buff spells that you have and pretty much makes it to where you can just have your party like uh auto cast them with a quick with a click of a button. So that way you don't have to go through like ten minutes of buffing later on. I haven't actually tried it yet, but I need to set that up just to uh save us some time. All right, let's go take out that demo dand, the one who laughs at us like an ass. But it is we who shall have the last laugh. Wahahaha. <laughs> La 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 I see something over there. Mm, don't move. Go get the trap first. All right, everybody get his ass. Mm, what am I doing here? Her. Let's see how effective bombs are on this guy. I feel like they should be pretty effective. Actually, let's use this first. I don't really use this much. Seems like it might be immune to fire. Or at least highly resistant to it. So, all right. Never mind that. Just attack, I guess. I hope 
hope you appreciate this. All right, we got a wicked longbow, but we don't actually have anybody that can use it. I feel like he should be able to use it, although. Nope, never mind. Of course, you can use it. You can't. I guess it's better than a short bow of code in case she ever needs a range attack someday. And we'll give it to Arushale whenever we get to the end of Act 2. Although I feel like by that time we'll probably have found something better. I don't know. I don't really remember if there are any better bows in Act 2. There probably are, just not coming to mind. Let me, uh, let me change her back. And... Unless somebody can think of something we missed, I believe we're done here. Definitely have quite a few quests to turn in. Let's make sure we get all of these. All right, so Irabeth for two of them, Sealer for one, Wolja for one. Hmm. That's actually not a bad idea, uh, Nick. I hadn't really thought of that, but maybe we will make her a ranged tank at that time. Then she won't need to go to enemies. She can just make enemies come to her. It does seem kind of more efficient. Yeah, at the very least, we can give it a try and see how it goes. Um, I want to say Point Blank Master comes a good bit later, though. I don't really remember at what level, but... I want to say where we'll be in double digits by the time we get access to that. I don't know. Next time we level, I'll look it up. I think we're going to replace Windowog's axe with this. DC 10's pretty low, but... It's on every hit. I feel like this, even with the DC of 10, is going to have a better chance of proccing than this does, since we haven't seen it proc even once yet. So yeah, we're going to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. That is a terrible, uh, glaive. Not a good, don't need it, don't need it. Hmm. Okay, I feel like we're pretty good to go on all of that. No, Yomogami. Fortunately, I did not. I put it in my box. 
So we're good. I didn't sell it like a dumbass. Instead, I'm going to forget to grab it uh, before we uh, start the attack on Great Garrison like a dumbass. But we'll trade future dumbassery for current dumbassery. Spider tank, spider tank. She should get some kind of cool ability or at least a feat for something like some type of natural attack with her spider legs or I don't know, just something for having that. Sure, I'll help, I guess. Damn, we're only halfway to level 5. Lame. I've heard the only way to get to level 5 before... Or, excuse me, to level 6. That's what I meant. But anyways, the only way to get there before the Great Garrison is to actually fight and kill the Nabasu. I've never done. I guess it makes sense that it would have or be worth a lot of experience at this point. Half a level's worth is a lot, though. Although we didn't kill the Varrock either, so we're actually missing the Varrock and the Nabasu. We failed the check for the Varrock. All right, um, what do I want here? A to Z, scroll of, no. Mm, take one of blur, that is helpful. But I actually wanted bless weapon. Yep, definitely want all those. And yeah, I think we're good. Sam, come on now. I can't do that. That just makes too much sense. But, you know, just to make you happy, I guess I'll go ahead. All right. Common sense wins the day. This time. This time. Ah, oh, crap. We got to resurrect the just to talk to him. Is it worth it? I guess it is. We have the gold. I think it's just it's a it's an option. If you go to the options for the game settings, you can turn your, because normally your entire party gets experience, um, even like your future party members. So that way everybody you get um, is at the same level. Uh, but you can turn that off, yeah, and gain experience hella fast. I think you can hit level 20 in like Act 4 or 5 or something if you do that. And from what I've heard, you can actually be level three 
whenever you get the neath home like if you do it in the beginning i've never actually done it but i've seen the option to do it um what was i doing all right scroll of ray's dead The hell? Oh, I hit type, that I hit price. And we don't have a lot of gold anymore. Sucks to be poor. At least we have a wool gif will give us 180 experience, I want to say. And definitely like the role play role play feel of a corrupted radiance and I definitely like the uh idea of a melee radiance or melee lich build using it. I don't know, I guess if you're playing a wizard or something that gets transformation, maybe you might even be able to use it effectively as a caster, possibly. Never re really tried anything like that, but you might. Yeah, I wanted to save the scale though, Sam. Like, I don't know. Keep like a backup in my pocket in case something goes wrong inside of the garrison or something like that. Okay, that's bullcrap. I revived him and he's not here. Oh, I hate that tiefling. No, we're going to try one more time for this tiefling. I'm trying to get the tiefling back first. Wolgif. Now that he's revived, maybe if I zone all the way out and all the way back in. Oh, is that why you're suggesting rest for the tiefling? I didn't even think about that. Uh, if this uh, doesn't work, then we'll try rest. You gotta just kill him. Aren't you some badass lich that doesn't take crap from anybody? There he is. Okay. That worked. me away but i just kept going back so eventually he gave up he didn't skimp on security the place was like ally what's up
All right, let's just check here. Maybe there's like a cool weapon we could just use, even though we normally wouldn't. Buy some of those. Yeah, we got every rid of pretty much everything that we need to or want to. Yeah, I guess that's good. He doesn't really have anything else, does he? Nope, nothing worth a damn. All right. Deal. I thought you could kill him after he left you whenever you ran into him again. I don't know, I may be mistaken. I know there's an option that... Um, there's an option to kill him, but... About 98% of the time in this game, whenever you get the option to kill somebody in dialogue, it stops you as soon as you choose the option, which is lame as hell, but there it is. I don't think we got her quest yet. Yeah, that should be everybody's. She's definitely crazy. But in a foxy scientist kind of way. Right, Helm or Ember? Yeah, probably Ember. Nope, not Ember. Oh, there's our cat. I know for sure in Act 3, when you find him, you get the option to kill him. Um, like I said, it may stop you from actually doing it, though. I don't think we really have another scroll that we need more than that. Hey, for anybody that hasn't done so already, hit the like and subscribe buttons, you know? It really helps out the channel, and I definitely appreciate the support. Well, thanks. Ah, the... sorry. Need to get a new hair. This one, uh, a little hard on the back after three or four hours. All right. But I think that's pretty much everything. All right, everything's ready. Onward. Hopefully I didn't forget anything.
So Sam, you're off now, right? For like weeks, two and a half weeks, something like that. Or did y'all not get everything finished today? Ah, oh, crap. Damn it, Yomogami, you're supposed to remind me sooner. Yeah, I was going to go. Uh, I was going to go mercenary. Oh, well, we can go mercenary after the garrison, even though that's going to cost us an extra 4000 gold. What did I screw up to not? I guess I messed something up. I saved Ramian. Did Ramian die in this one? We saved him. We saved the tieflings. Apparently I didn't save somebody as supposed to because we should have people here keeping us auto-hasted. Alright, this place might be a little more difficult than normal now. Yeah, doing this without haste is definitely going to make things take longer. I am oh, yeah. Yeah, we let them burn, didn't we? Or maybe not let them, but they did burn. Oh, not that way, this way. Yeah, we made it to the library beforehand, but remember I said I misclicked and we didn't get the trickster. Yeah, I chose the wrong option. So we didn't get the trickster mythic path and they actually, yeah, set them on fire. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that. But that's, uh, that's definitely what it was. At least we still have this tiefling, so we won't miss out on the loot, but the battles are definitely going to be more difficult. So yeah, don't try to punch the guy in the face whenever you only have five strength because it doesn't work and then they light the guys on fire and you don't have any haste here. The Crusaders. Oh, yeah. Definitely being more difficult without the haste. So usually don't buff until we get to Otharubo. But I'm thinking without that haste buff, we might need to a little bit earlier. It'll just mean an extra rest or two. Did I? Did I go through all of that and then not even pick up her scabbard after I went 
after I did everything. And I think you might actually be right now that I'm thinking about it. And we haven't buffed yet, so we've got time. Thanks, uh, Yomagami, for correcting me on that. And it's not like a big deal, but every little bit of experience is nice. All right. Uh, we actually don't need it yet. Let's save a little time. Make these buffs last at least until Otherubo. Yeah, I think we can get out of here with only resting twice. Even without all the haste uh, buffs from those Crusaders. You know what I forgot to do? Buff her armor. It's probably the most important uh, part of any of this. No reason to pause. I heed the voice of the spirits. Gotta remember that later. And we're actually gonna put this on you. And that can wait till later for sure. Alright. That's pretty good. Let's get a move on. Oh, door. Did it open the door first? Oh well. I hope they appreciate this. I think I'm definitely sticking with reach weapons for Sila. Toggle that off and this off. Oh, I 
forgot to use his but oh well we can do that after this battle Not on you, on her. All right, good. One down. Not too bad, not too bad. Don't we get ambushed here or something? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, that is way too many stinking clouds. Do not remember there being that many. Oh, wait, we have... What am I doing? We have delayed poison on. It doesn't matter. No, oh, you don't have to run. We have delayed poison. Stop it. Let's see. 
Looks good. Still forgot to buff him, but that's okay. She's losing a little more life than what I would like. Not that far up. Right there. Come on, Sela, stop missing. Start killing. Probably. All right, good job. He survived. Spoon? All right, I don't get the spoon one. Steal a spoon? Definitely not getting that one. Hey, look, we actually saw... Um, past the perception check. All right, let's see here. Use two times. Ah. I did not enjoy the Tick cartoon very much as a kid. I see something over there. Whenever it would come on the WB, I usually changed it to a different channel. Nice, some sonic arrows. All 
And I thought that's what that was. So let's definitely put that on you. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight here. Oh, maybe we timed it right. All right, good job. Got to change you back, huh? All right, so that went well. Let's rebuff real quick. I think this guy uses a fireball. So we're going to put that on. Got a blessed weapon on yourself. Let's get you all right up here so that way you don't die or don't die. Don't get blocked from going through the door. All right, my people actually made it inside. That's amazing and surprising. See if it'll let me throw it like right there. Probably not. That'd be pretty awesome if I could hit all of them though. All right, not bad. Where you at, Sila? Okay, you're there. Let's get you up here so you can heal a little bit if we need you to. There's Otharuba. He's the one that really needs to go down here. See if you can make your way over there.
All right, Sila's off of that. Hit him with the smite evil. See if we can charge him. Really? You want to come down here? I don't like you. Okay, good. He didn't make it. Nice. I do so enjoy being an alchemist. That's for damn sure. Being an alchemist and having a good healer, especially a good cleric this early is, or a good energy channeler this early, oracle, cleric, even a paladin, I guess, although that's definitely not as effective. Success. Oh, is that what he does? That's is that what he's throwing? Or some type of fire potion or fire bomb or something? I thought it was a fireball before but yeah it definitely did not look like fireball during the battle it did look like he was throwing a bomb or potion or something Nido Torpedo is that is that where Nido Torpedo came from? Because I said that a lot as a kid, but had no idea where it came from. Alright, I think that's everything here. Alright, and we're over four hours now, so I think we're actually going to go ahead and end the stream. Remember, uh, we do have a link to our Discord down in the description. If anybody wants to join us on Discord and hang out, we'd love to have you. Alright, and uh, if you're not uh, subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. We definitely appreciate the support. And we'll be back tomorrow night for our Player Submitted Builds live stream. Um, where we're going to uh, test out a build or two that have been submitted by, you know, viewers, players. And then all day Saturday, we'll be playing Pathfinder Kingmaker. So join us if you can. Also, for anybody who's interested in supporting the Lore Spire community, uh, there is a link to our Patreon in the description. And uh, you can head over there and check out uh, the perks you can get from uh, becoming a Patreon, patron on Patreon. You know, you can get uh, recognition, uh, voting rights for future content, early access to content, uh, you can join us live on stream, and there's a lot of other uh, perks and benefits to it too, so head over there and check it out if it's something that might interest you. All right, definitely appreciate appreciate everybody showing up, Sam and Hensler and Yomogami. Hope you have a good night at work, Hensler, or day if it's day wherever you are. Anyways, thanks everybody for showing up and hanging out. This has been Chris with Lorespire. Be well, my friends.